The Seattle Mariners have made a splash in the MLB trade market as they went out and acquired Tampa Bay Rays superstar outfielder Randy Arozarena. In exchange for Randy, the Seattle Mariners are sending back three players, two of which have already been named. Prospects outfielder Aiden Smith, right-handed pitcher Brody Hopkins, and then again a player to be named later. My initial thought on this trade is that <laughs> Jerry Depoto and the Mariners front office just fleeced the Tampa Bay Rays. The two prospects that the Mariners have sent so far to the Rays are currently both in low A baseball and are the Seattle Mariners 12th and 22nd ranked prospects. And again, let me clarify, that's for two and a half years of Randy Arozarena. At his peak, he is a truly impactful bat in the lineup, was rookie of the year in 2021, made the All-Star game last year in 2023, also making it to the final round of the Home Run Derby, competing against Vlad Guerrero Jr., and this very well might be somewhat of a buy low for the Mariners. This year, Randy Rosarena is batting 213 with a 717 OPS, which is still a little above league average, but compared to his prior years, is definitely a dip. However, it is perfect timing to when the Mariners are acquiring Randy. He had a very slow start from April through May, but in 25 games in June, he was batting 291 with an 893 OPS. And so far in July, he's batting 288 with a 949 OPS. And of course, we all know it sucks to hit in T-Mobile Park. But Randy Arozarena at T-Mobile Park, over his 11 games, 48 plate appearances, he's slashing 289 with a 333 on base percentage, a 511 slug, with three home runs and a double. It's not quite Mike Trout level at T-Mobile Park, but it's way better than anything currently on the roster. And this trade isn't just about acquiring Randy Arozarena. By only giving up your 12th and 22nd overall prospects, we'll see who that third player is later, you still have the firepower of one of the top farm systems in baseball at the moment to go out and continue to add impact to this lineup. And yes, I'm looking at you, Vladdy. Randy is currently under contract for $8.1 million in 2024 and is under club control through the 2026 season with the next two years coming via arbitration. What arbitration means is that there's no set dollar figure for those last two years and it's essentially a negotiation between Randy's team and the Mariners and Randy will be paid similar to the fair market value of how he has been performing. And so he's being paid $8.1 million this year. That number will increase next year, which will then increase the following year. Looking at Randy's Baseball Savant page, there is a bit of red, although it is more faint red. Those first two months definitely put a damper on his season stats so far. But when he hits the ball, he's going to hit it hard. He's going to find barrels, and he will walk a bit. He does have a 24.8% strikeout rate, and his fielding isn't phenomenal, although he has made some spectacular plays, including this grab at the wall in the All-Star game in Seattle last year. And it's not even all about his stats. The vibes that he's going to bring to that clubhouse are off the charts. And now you've got Julio in center with the no-fly zone and Randy in left field crossing his arms. Now moving to the return for the Rays. They certainly aren't getting nothing here, but it'll just take two to three years before you see any of these guys in the major leagues. This was the Mariners' number 12 overall prospect at the time of the trade, Aiden Smith. He is a right-handed hitting outfielder who was drafted in the fourth round of the 2023 MLB draft. He's listed at 6'2 to 6'3, 190 pounds, and so far at low A Modesto, he's batted 284 with a 402 on base percentage and an 872 OPS. He's logged nine home runs to go along with 28 stolen bases. And so far in 2024, he is the only player in minor league baseball with 25 doubles and 25 steals. Some scouts touted Aiden as being one of the best pure hitters in the 2023 draft out of the Texas high school ranks. Again, at just 20 years old, it'll take him a few years before you'll see him in the big leagues, although the ceiling is definitely there. There was a ton of high praise on Aiden throughout the Mariners system, so be on the lookout for Aiden in the coming years. The other part of the trade that is currently known is Brody Hopkins. Brody was drafted in the sixth round of the 2023 MLB Draft by the Seattle Mariners. When you watch tape on Brody, he has electric stuff. Coming out of a low three-quarter arm slot, he's got a fastball that runs up into the upper 90s and a sweeping slider in the mid 80s. From his motion and the stuff that he has at this point in his career, it gives me some heavy Matt Brash vibes. I mean, check out this side by side. This is the exact same pitch. The biggest question for Bodie is if he'll remain as a starter or if the Rays will decide to move him to the bullpen at some point. He is a freak athlete at 6'4". He was a two-way player at Winthrop 
and when he was doing a workout for the San Diego Padres leading up to the draft, he ran the 30-yard dash and followed it up by doing a back handspring. This dude is an athlete. To learn more about Brody and his story, go check out this podcast that I recorded with him during this last offseason. So a massive move for the Mariners to go out and get Randy Rosarena, but this has to be just that first domino to fall. This can't be the only move, and I'm sure it won't be the only move. I imagine the next acquisition will be a guy playing somewhere in the infield. Let me know your thoughts on this trade in the comments below. And otherwise, if you're still watching this video, thank you for the support. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.